hi it's christy and i have a box here that is for a girl 10 to 14 and it's a Minnie mouse theme but before i open it i have to tell you i just got a couple of pictures from michelle and i am overwhelmed by some little gems that she just created i actually started to cry because they're so so darling so She's gonna send me some and I can't wait to share them, but I just had to tell you, if I just um, am a little sniffy, it's because I was crying because they're so, she surprised me, just totally surprised me and I loved them so much. Okay, so let me get to this box. I'm gonna open it up and I have my 107 rubber bands and I, I, oh, I think you'll notice that I'm using an Operation Christmas Child plastic box. I really um, love using these because we can send more boxes using the same amount of stuff. I, in the past, have used some bigger boxes and I loved being able to put more in it, but I realized, Michelle and I both realized that we could, it's more important to reach more children with the gospel than it was to put more items in. So. Let me try tell you, there's sometimes when I watch some of your boxes and I think, oh, I think I want to have a bigger box too because you do such really cute boxes, but I, we are committed to reaching more children. That's to us the most important thing um, is building the kingdom of God. So I just thought I'd reiterate that and um, explain why we're always using the Operation Christmas Child boxes. And it's amazing how the Lord allows us to get so much in. And so I want to show you this box, how much I was able to get in. And I think this 10 to 14 year old girl will be very happy with her box. So she has this pretty pink notebook. It's the college rule for school. And I didn't put the um, stickers in there this time, but I have them in here somewhere. She has this pink jump rope and this beautiful silky scarf. I liked, um, being able to put this in and it's it's a little bit sheer in places, it's very feminine and I felt like um, it would have a lot of options of how a girl could wear it. And I just, Melissa Flores um, really inspires me, has inspired me to put in pretty scarves for these older girls. So I have that one in here. And then this is her sketch pad. So I just took a piece of construction paper and some plain uh, computer paper, folded it, I used a long reach staple and made this for her to be able to sketch um, and color in. And then here's her canvas backpack. It's um, uh, something that I bought on Amazon in bulk and I'm really glad I did. It was a great sale at the time. And here we like to include the menstrual pads for all the older girls. So this one, this is her wet bag and inside is her uh, one pair of panties and it has the menstrual pad attached. Um, I think it was Multitasker Mama put did it like this and I thought, wow, that is a great way to just demonstrate for a girl how she should wear her menstrual pads. The other ones are in the box, but the, that particular one I saved uh, to put in her wet bag so she would kind of have an understanding. We do have the instructions right here uh, uh, wrapped around the Fels Naphtha, which is really great for washing uh, anything with stains or blood. And uh, this is the directions you could print off on blessingsinashoebox.com uh, for the girls. And I just put it around the soap to, to um, just make it, see there's a picture of the soap right there and washing it. So it just helps make it clear for them when they get these. A lot of girls have never had menstrual pads or used menstrual pads before. And as a result, they can't go to school one week out of the year or maybe not at all because they don't have the right um, thing to help them uh, go to school and still be on their period. So that's something where Michelle and I are really passionate about reaching these older kids with some menstrual pads. So she is um, such a blessing to me to make those homemade. She does a double, a very thick double lining uh, on the inside with the absorb material. I think it's called Zorb. 
and it is um, really like a heavy duty menstrual pad, not like a panty liner. Panty liner really isn't adequate to allow them to go to school um, unless you send a lot, but um, these really thick, full size menstrual pads are great for these girls. And I'm really, really appreciative to be um, able to send those because Michelle's making them for me. Michelle is, for those of you that are new to my channel, Michelle is my partner. We met online and she runs our website and she does so much of the homemade um, items that she sends me and I'm very, very blessed. So here is her um, scrunchie. I think these are, um, really really great for all the girls uh they just squeeze up so small and there is hasn't been a box so far that i haven't been able to fit them in i have this little plush this little heart plus and she can attach it to her backpack if she wants i have some thread here um because she has her sewing kit in here and here's her little since she's if this is a mini mouse Minnie has a kitty cat so i have her little kitty cat basket with a ball of yarn to go with her Minnie Mouse. And here's her Minnie Mouse. I have it in this organza bag and she is all dressed up. I love her sunglasses that are perched on the top of her head. And she has all of her clothes are removable. It's funny because you have to take off her hands in order to get her arms through the sleeves, but these are the cutest Minnie Mouse and I'm really excited to be able to include those. Sometimes um, they have gone on sale. I think they were on sale at um, Prime Day. So I was really excited um, to get her. Now I want to show you, she came with this latte um, that fits in her hand, but uh, we would, if, if it was a child that was in America, we would go ahead and send it, but we are not sending anything with food in our bags because so many children are food deprived. Um, I'm hearing more and more about children that are starving um, around the world, and it would be kind of like a, a, a tease to have um, fake food to play with and when they don't have real food. So we're not going to send any kind of um fake food but i still think without the latte she is adorable she has a couple of spiky balls in here and a matchbox car i like the polka dots because that always makes me think of mini here are her sewing scissors and I'm, i'll get to her sewing kit in a minute her big giant eraser i love the bright colors she has, I do have her school supplies kind of scattered in here just because of the room. Um, I'm fitting them in like little gems so they fit. This is a little cat pencil sharpener. And since Minnie has a cat for a pet, I thought that would be perfect. She has a style soap in the wrapper. Um, don't get uh, confused, I guess. Uh, what the, the rules are for Operation Christmas Child is it, the soap has to be in the original wrapper uh, or in a baggie if it's not in the original wrapper. Um, and so this is, I'm just keeping it in the original wrapper for now. I don't have um, a soapbox. It didn't fit in here, but she has a washcloth. Here's her calculator, solar calculator. This is her water bottle. Water bottles are so important. We're trying to include them in all of our boxes. My friend that was visiting last night was, uh, she was uh, visiting her sister who was a missionary and she talked about how they had to walk two miles to get the water and they had to do that twice a day. So eight hours a day they spent uh, traveling back and forth in order to get the water. So including a water bottle for some regions, that is a really uh, important and special gift. So here's her brush with a mirror. I love these little, a lot of children have never seen themselves. So to be able to send a, a mirror is a, very special. She has um, three pairs of underwear in here. This is one of them. And she has a multi-pin. Let me try to go through their, this quickly. She has this little kitty pin that she can put on her backpack a gray backpack and it goes with the other kitty item and then she has a couple of 
These are little gems. All these little things fit in the nooks and crannies of your shoe box. Here's two friendship bracelets, one for her and one for a friend or a sister, or she can keep both. Here's a hair tie, another little gem. It seems like it doesn't take any room up. Here's um, one other of her menstrual pads. I'm gonna put that here. And another menstrual pad all folded up like a package. Two toothbrushes she has with a cover. This is her nail clipper, nail file, and the directions. You can print off from blessingsinashoebox.com on how to use a nail clipper. Here's her uh, Sharpie and another pink eraser for her school supplies. And here's her glue stick. And those are sealed, so they are, um, we don't have to really worry about them melting as far as getting all over when they're sealed like that. And here's another menstrual pad. And here, these are fun. This is a nail file and a tweezer. And those are little ladies. I just loved it when I found those. Um, I found them, it was a hair supply place and I just had to pick some up for my boxes. I admit that I picked some up for myself too. They work really well. Here's her pink scissors to go with her school supplies. Here's her beautiful sewing kit, which Michelle made. It's a sturdy snaps on it and all the special items in here. I added some buttons to her buttons that she had, a little pack of wooden bu buttons with like a little bird and flower, decorative buttons. And then the decorative pens are so pretty. She really just went all out. It's a pen uh, th threader in here and a measuring tape. Here's her needles. And then she can put her scissors in here. Once they get out of the box, there's a little pocket for her scissors. So that is a special gift. Um, my cousin, Colby, or actually she's my niece, she uh, goes all the time to Ghana and she was talking about, um, I asked her about sending things in a shoebox and she said, they need sustainability. So anything they can do to make um, um, money. So sewing, if she learns to sew or uh, tools for the boys, those things are very, very valuable in Ghana. So that was, very interesting to hear from her that she felt like uh, sustainability was a priority way above toys or even clothes to send items that will help them. Same with educational supplies. Those are very, very valuable. So I was pretty excited to hear her say that because I agree with that. So here's her socks, which I just totally love. They're Minnie Mouse. And here's a little, um, a cross, a wooden cross with some string that she can use. She can tie it on her pencil pouch or she can make it into a necklace. Here's her colored pencils and her pencil pouch. I love the pink ones. She has two black pens and a Minnie Mouse. Let's see, I love the, I'll show you the Minnie Mouse pen or pencil is perfect because it has the Benny Mouse in the pink bow with the polka dots on it. And then there's a pencil that is the polka dots. So I loved how all of this came together and the stickers. I had some Mickey Mouse stickers and I have some animal stickers in here for her. And there's this fun pencil with the aqua swirls and it all kind of coordinates with this mini. I really love it. She has two, um, besides the kitty pencil sharpener, she has two other pencil sharp sharpeners in here. And this little, I put in this organza bag, her special necklace and uh, her ruler. I ordered these rulers for my pencil pouches and I just love them. They're flexible. I actually thought they were gonna be stiff plastic when I got them, but they're flexible and Michelle recommend, recommended them. They have all different, it comes in a pack with all different colors. And so I was really happy about that, but I put it in here so this 
would not get bent. It's um, a choker with shimmery beads on it that I ordered from Children's Place. So that is a special, I think, girly item for her that I'm excited to be able to include. And here's her last menstrual pad. And another pair, I love these. Panties are so pretty. I love the pattern. I think they're from, let's see what they say. Yep, Old Navy. So those, that makes, um, I think, three underwear and five pads for her. And here's her pretty washcloth. It's very soft. And then I am including two uh, flat, what do they call fat quarter material for her to use for sewing and her bandana and lastly this is her um, older girl coloring book which she can use her colored pencils there's all kinds of pictures that an older girl would love to color and that brings us to the end of the box i want to thank you for making shoe boxes because we're working together to build the kingdom of God. That is our purpose. And I want to give him all the glory for all that we're doing together as a team for Operation Christmas Child to send items over that will make the children just feel the love of the Lord. That's the that's what we want to do so that then, then they'll be more receptive when they hear the gospel. They're going to be filled with love and they're going to be surprised and amazed that a stranger has given them a gift and that will make them more receptive to the gospel and that is our goal to reach the world and the children and their villages and their families with the good news of Jesus Christ. Uh, I will be putting in my uh, note and my picture. Those are both very, very important to me and that's that's all I want to share. So thank you for watching. God bless you and bye for now.